loves welcome to my youtube channel that sounds so weird <laughs> oh but i'm so glad i'm finally saying that welcome to my youtube channel hey loves um i welcome you to my lovely space mm -hmm. um thank you so much for your love and support thank you so much for the love that you showed for my intro video listen i appreciate it so much so if you're new here um please subscribe like you know and do the right thing i promise you you're gonna have fun here you know we have fun here okay we're gonna have fun all right guys yes so let's get started who are you ready do you have your water and your snack you know are you ready do you have that go get that what are you waiting for? Go get that. Okay. okay. So, first question that I'm going to answer, and I'm going to tick off so that I know I'll answer it, is how do you deal with negative comments? Hmm. Um, I just really, really honestly, I ignore negative comments because I don't want to dwell on negative things, you know, or just negative thoughts of people. So, I just really ignore negative comments um if someone is saying it to me i'm just gonna you know ignore it um if it's i don't really get like negative negative comments on my social media pages so i think i get dms that are weird and sometimes negative so i just delete and you know i leave it at that I really ignore i don't pay attention i don't give my energy i don't pour my energy into negative comments or just people with negative you know vibes no oh we don't do that here so um yeah so second question is what's my favorite translation to use i use quite a lot of translations when i'm reading um I use a lot, but my current favorite is Amplified. I'm currently really, really loving Amplified, but I also enjoy NIV and I also enjoy Good News and um, the HCSB, I think something like that. I will just put the proper, you know, thingy there. Um, but those are my favorite translations that I use for reading my Bible. So the next question, okay, let me take this one off. The next question is, what is the difference between Bible study and devotions? And Bible study is just really you getting in depth with, you know, reading the word, just going into more detail or just having more options. Like when I study, I have other books that I read and I have my Bible and I have my notebook, you know, and I just really research properly what i'm studying about when was it written who wrote it why did they write it when was the time when they wrote it you know i just really you know go in depth 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 so i think bible study is just really going in depth of whatever that you're studying about you can be studying about faith you can be studying about love you can be studying about peace you can be studying about the holy spirit you can be studying really about anything so bible study is just really you going in depth and devotions is just something that you really you know read into like daily it's like your um affirmations you know devotions are almost like affirmations so you can just say um psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd every day you just wake up in the morning and you just say that and you just you know that's your devotion for the day or for the week or you know however you do it that's the difference you know um so okay so next question is how do you push or motivate yourself to study the word I, what do I do? I don't know. Do I know? I just always want to study the word. Um, I think, okay, I think what pushes me is just, just um, to really learn. I always want to learn. So I think that really helps me just to always, you know, want to read the word. And I think because it's already in my habits and, you know, my day-to-day -day living schedule or, you know, timetable so when i just don't do it something's not right 
So I think what just motivates me is just always wanting to learn. And I know that whenever I read the word of God, I will always learn something. So, yeah, I just the willingness of learning helps me, you know, motivates me to always read the word of God. And whenever I'm going through something, the word of God is always my go-to because I always find comfort and I always find healing and I always find what I need to hear with whatever I'm going through at the specific times. <coughs> so, I'm babysitting guys, right? And my niece is just looking at me. She just woke up. So she's just looking at me. So just don't mind if you just deal with me. You know, she probably will be joining us. Right, so let's get back into it. <laughs> um, the next question is, what are your hobbies? Um, um, I love cooking. I love writing. I love reading. I love drawing. I love singing. Um, those are my hobbies. I really like, love doing those things. So the next question is, when are our makeup routines coming back? <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know guys, I don't know, but because we have YouTube now, right, because we have YouTube, they're probably going to be coming soon, right, I can't promise when, but, but, you are coming, right, so, okay, the next question is, what's your favorite song or album, currently, I have two, my favorite, um, album right now is Todd Galbert Encounter that's my favorite right now and Fate City um what's the title of the album I'll, I'll leave it down here Fate City and Todd Galbert right now those albums are amazing and I think my favorite song from Fate City is Jehovah and Surrounded and from Todd it's almost a lot guys so um, I have quite a lot, right? So let's just say the whole album. That's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next question. Um, did you grow up in a Christian household? Yes, I did. I did. I really did. My from my great grandmother. She was a church. She was a real church girl. You know. Um, serving was you know a necessity. You know um church was priority so i did grow up in a church in a christian household um yeah pretty much all my life since i was born and yeah um so the next question is um when did you get saved when did i get saved i think i got saved when i was 14. i got baptized when I was 14, so that's when I got saved. Um, yeah, I got saved in that when I was 14. So, yes. Guys, I wish I could show you what she's doing right now. She's just looking at me. It's like she knows that I'm busy, so she can't disturb me. And this is great. Anyway, next question is, um, how do you overcome temptation and sin? Um... So, listen, the Lord says, flee, flee from the devil and he will flee from you. So, um, I just really try my best not to. That's just my ultimate goal. Try my best not to. And just always remind myself that God has saved you from sin. So, why go back there? You know, um, he sacrificed his life, you know, to save you. And, you know, to save you so that you're not bound and you're not chained in sin. So, don't go back there. You know, why would you go back from where you were saved from? You know, so, and sin is what really the devil uses to, you know, distract you or to just lose your place in God. Sin is, yeah, you know. So just flee from that and try your best not to. I just really make sure that my habits are, you know, within the will of God and what I do in my spare time, the friends that I keep, the, the you know, whatever that I think about, it just really aligns. Whenever I just have a funky, weird habit, you know, um, I feel like my spirit always tells me and I fight it and I just stop doing it. And sometimes it's fun, but I'm just like, 
um it's not worth it so stop you know um prioritize what's important and if you want to you know always please god and then just try not to just you know try the best you can do just try so the moment you try it will work but if you don't try nothing's gonna happen you know so try um what is god the next question is what is god currently teaching you hmm. god is currently teaching me to be patient god is god is currently teaching me to be patient with myself um to love myself um god is teaching me you know to believe what he says about me and to just really instill it in my heart what god thinks of me and stick to that um so yeah the next question is when did you start singing and how's your music journey um i started singing when i was pretty young i don't know i don't remember how old but i was in primary and i was just singing with my family and at church and a sunday school choir and then um yeah i ne really never stopped singing because i have you know people that sing at home so when they want to sing you have to sing <laughs> but that has helped me grow and i think um yeah i started that and then i started singing in high school i started you know taking this you know enjoying this a little bit um but i think yeah so it has been that and my my music journey is quite exciting i'm learning quite much and i i'm just so glad that i you know i'm learning and i'm growing and god is working on me i told you guys yeah. Okay. What's wrong? Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I took her to her grandmother, so yeah. So we can continue, right? Let's continue. <laughs> um, so the next. The next question is, how do you keep God first? Because I see God as my everything. He's my everything. So I think that's what, I don't know. Um, he comes first because I cannot live without him. He comes first because... There's nothing that I can really do in this life without him, without consulting him, without speaking to him, you know, without me knowing that he's with me. I really cannot do anything without God, you know. So that's what helps me keep him first, knowing that he actually comes first. You know, without him, I wouldn't exist. You know, without him, I wouldn't have the gift that I have. Without him, I wouldn't have the things that I have. You know, I wouldn't be who I am. So I think when you have just that mindset that you're really nothing without God and he's really your everything, then he will just definitely come first because if he doesn't come first, who does? I don't because if I come there in front, ah, it's not gonna go nice. So, um, because he's my everything and simply because i mean he's the beginning of the year and he created the heavens and the earth he was there in the beginning he should always come first everything starts with him and everything ends with him you know so i put him first in my day-to-day -day, you know life i cannot breathe without god i cannot move without god i cannot speak without god so um if i cannot do these things without him it simply means I should always consult him. I should always seek him. I should always, you know, spend time with him because I cannot do life without him, you know? I mean, that's his place, you know? He comes first. He is first. So, yeah. I hope I answered your question. If I didn't, let me know. And then I'll make time to answer it properly. If I didn't answer your questions, 
properly and you have more questions you just leave them on your comments in my comment section you know comment guys please you know let's engage so you can comment and you know ask um other questions that you have for me and i'll respond and i'll answer them um if i there's you know a question that you feel like i didn't really go in depth with let me know so that i can do more of that okay um so the other the next question i'm almost done i think um, we're almost on like the last two questions i think we're on like the last two questions Ugh. i'm trying to be comfortable to don't you know mind me i'm trying to be comfortable so. so excuse me yes so do you like indoors or outdoors better i like both. well no i like indoors <laughs> i like staying at home um i like sleepovers you know i love that um i i do enjoy going out but um not really much you know most of whatever it is that i do is indoors like you know movies are indoors i think one you know thing that i like doing now is hiking and that's outdoors so i like hiking now so that's outdoors um so i think it's both man i think it's just who i'm spending my time with that matters um if you know i'm with my friends i enjoy every moment with them so it doesn't really matter what we're doing if i'm with them i'm having fun so whether we're indoors or outdoors but if i'm spending time with me what would i choose by myself i would be indoors about i probably book myself a place and just stay indoors you know that's me so yeah i think i probably prefer indoors <laughs> so yeah so the next question is what is your current what's your current favorite book my current favorite book please don't eat it's my bible because i haven't had i haven't been reading much like books I probably my last I probably finished my last book in June. <gasps> it has been long. I probably yeah, it's probably June, July, winter time. I remember it was winter time. Um so my current book right now is the Bible, the word of God. Um what am I currently reading aloud? <laughs> Um, lately I've been reading about, I've been reading the book of Job. I've been reading the book of Job and listen, it's, I, I'm constantly going back to that book. That's one of my favorite books. Um, but I just love the word of God because you keep on going back and you keep on learning something, you know, you keep learning more, you know? So yes, it's the book of Job and the book of James. And the book of James, yes, you know, um, yeah, so, yes, um, thank you for watching, um, the get to know me tag, don't forget to like and subscribe, you know, share the video, I'm coming with something great, with something, you know, worth watching, it's coming. Mm, it's coming so yeah thank you for watching guys i hope you had a great time i hope you had fun i hope this was exciting you know i was exciting shooting this i was just excited so i hope you are as excited watching it and just getting to know me and yeah hope to see you again come back come back okay come back yeah so, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I love you, love you, love you, love you.